But the second part of that, I really want you to lean into letting other people celebrate you. Like, stop when somebody asks you if you need help. No, I'm good. No, you're not. <laughs> like, let them help you. What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of the Becoming Britney podcast. Whoop, whoop. It's your girl and host, Britney Morton. And y'all, I know it's been a minute, but your girl is back. And I am so excited to let you all know what's been going on in my world. It's been a couple of months since I released my last episode of the podcast. And so for all of you who have been rocking with me over the last year, y'all, it's literally been a whole year since I've launched, launched this podcast. And I've received so many uh, comments, testimonies, and feedback from those of you. Or you could be saying, hey, Brittany, this is my first episode. Well, what's up? I'm so glad that you're here and you're tuning in, you're checking this out, and you're rocking with me on today, all right? So I wanted to kind of give y'all an update on what's been going on in my life and in my world. I didn't want to just come back like, girl, where you been? And just operating like, okay, I wasn't gone. And so I thought it would be cool before we jump back into the episodes that I have for you all, that we really take some time, just a few moments, and I can tell y'all about some of the things that are going on and have been going on in my life. So if you are new to the Becoming Britney podcast, my goal and my mission for this podcast is to really create a platform and a space for us to be able to talk through real life things. I really share a lot with you all about my journey and I, my hopes is, is that as I share my journey with you, that it encourages you, it inspires you, and it motivates you on your journey of who you are becoming. Because how many of you know that I believe and you believe too that God wants us to become the best versions of ourselves? And usually that only happens when we're able to go through and grow through some things. And that's what I've been doing all summer long. Like, how y'all summer been? I'm going to tell y'all about my summer. But it's been a whole lot of growing over here, like all summer. So a few things I want to share with you. First of all, since we last talked, your girl had a birthday. Y'all, I had a whole birthday, and I turned 37 years old. Now, I know, I know, I know, I don't look like it. I don't sound like it. I don't know, y'all. I'm making this up. But I turned 37, y'all. I turned 37, and I'm not sure how that happened or when that happened because, like, yesterday, I was in my 20s. And today, I am in my 30s, y'all. Knocking on 40. What? Uh, but I am so grateful, y'all. I don't know. Like, I love 30s. So if you in your 20s, don't even worry about turning 30 because the 30s are real, real lit. It's like you get a new level of grownness. Like, you you grown on a whole nother level in your 30s, right? But, y'all, I celebrated my 37th birthday at the end of May. And for those of you who know me, y'all know, like, I am big on celebrating. Like, I love celebrating birthdays. I love celebrating the people in my life. And I typically do, like, one thing for my birthday. Every year, y'all, I typically take a trip for my birthday, and I'm usually at the beach. The beach is my favorite place to go in the whole wide world, and I typically do that every year. Y'all, let me tell you. This year, I was trying to plan for my birthday. My best friends kept asking me, okay, Brittany, where we going? What we doing? Because they know I usually send out a little invitation. And, y'all, I just could not get it together. Like, I could not. Every place I was looking, I was on TikTok, looking at different places. Like, okay, where are some places I haven't been before? All of these things, y'all. And it just wasn't landing, like, for me. The old me, I was just used to just go places. But now, I don't know. I have to feel like I'm supposed to be there. Like, I have to feel like... I don't know. I'm just in a different space now. So, y'all, time kept going by, and I was not getting inspired to go anywhere for my birthday. First thing I asked myself, y'all, because I do this all the time, anytime I am doing something different or new, the first question I always ask myself is, girl, are you depressed? Y'all, I don't know why I ask myself this. Then I get on Google. I start Googling all these symptoms to see if your girl is depressed. Because <laughs> I never want to be out here depressed and not know it. You know what I mean? 
so anyway, so y'all, it kept time kept coming up for my birthday, and I didn't have any ideas. I was not feeling inspired to do anything. So then I thought, well, maybe I'll just do a staycation. So I looked up some places for the staycation. Y'all, that didn't even work out. Like, by the time my weekend came, I didn't even feel like going nowhere. I wanted to just be in my own house. I said, child, is this 37? What is going on? Anyway, y'all, I decided a few days, keyword days, a few days before my birthday that I wanted to host a birthday party slash live podcast recording. Okay, I I need y'all to hear that because I'm about to tell y'all why that is such a big deal for me. I decided a few days, the week before my birthday, oh, Sunday's my birthday, let's do a birthday party and live podcast recording. Y'all, stressed my assistant out, okay? I think she's still recovering, so y'all pray for her. But anyway, (laughs) so we decided to do this, y'all, and when I tell you this is something I have never done, one of the reasons why I've never done anything like this is because I have been so afraid of being seen yet alone celebrate it like y'all know that's still a new thing for me I'm still working that out and so we decided to host this this little situation right and so you all I put it out there I wasn't sure if anybody was gonna come have y'all ever been there where you like kind of put yourself out there and you don't know if people gonna respond in your mind you done told yourself child ain't nobody gonna come y'all people actually came and it was such a beautiful night so I got one of my best friends chastity and we did a live podcast recording and i had an audience y'all it was so good that i actually want to do it again okay so i am really really excited i'm gonna be sharing that episode with you all really really soon but again i didn't want to just roll it out and i didn't give y'all context of what your girl been doing so y'all got there it was so beautiful like to celebrate myself and to be celebrated is something that I'm still wrapping my heart and mind around. And I realized like the best thing I could give myself for my birthday was to celebrate how far I've come. And I gotta slow it down right there uh, because I think sometimes we can be so focused on getting to our next or accomplishing our goals that we don't even realize and take time to celebrate how far we've come. And y'all, I don't know about y'all. I can only speak to my journey, but your girl has been in the trenches, okay? Like, I feel like I have been in a process for so long. I feel like I've been going through so many private tests for so long. And it's something about this birthday really made me be reflective of everything I've overcome, all the things I've learned, all the things I've been through. And y'all, with no regrets, like, your girl has been through a lot. But to get to the place in my healing journey where I can smile and laugh about stuff that broke my heart, I can thank God about stuff in seasons where I did not understand, baby, that was a time for celebrate, okay? So that's what my birthday has meant to me. It's like just thanking God and honoring myself for the way I've honored my own process, right? And so I talked a lot about that. You're going to hear about that like on these next few episodes. But you all, I share that because I don't know where you are on your journey, but if you're not already at that place, I want to encourage you to get to that place. I know when all of us look at our past, it's a whole lot of unfortunate stuff back there, right? Like a lot of us have made bad decisions. We done dated the wrong people. You know, we have counted ourselves out, like all of these different things. But when you get to the place in your life where you can honor where you've come from, you can honor the mistakes you've made, you can honor all the things that has happened because you would not be the person you are today if it wasn't for where you come from and what you survived and overcome. What? So that was my birthday, you all. So when I tell y'all buckets of tears, I mean tears, and it wasn't tears of sadness. I've had so many years of tears of sadness. This time, it was tears of joy. And I want to encourage somebody right there because for some of you, you may be in your process right now and you may be doing a lot of crying. It may not be tears of joy, but I love what the word says about how joy is going to come in the morning. And I believe me turning 37, I'm finally starting to see morning. Y'all, I'm finally like I think I'm I'm naming this chapter of my life finally. And it's not because I got like everything I've been believing God for and I see the full manifestation of it, but I believe I'm finally getting 
the most important thing. And that's me seeing myself the way God has, has sees me. That's me understanding my value. Like I never thought I was worth a party. Like I didn't even think I was worth being celebrated. You, you see what I'm saying? But now it's like, I'm learning how to celebrate myself. And as I'm learning how to celebrate myself, it opens me, it's opening me up to be celebrated by the people in my life that love me. Why am I saying all of this? Because I want to encourage you to do the same. I want to encourage you, like, working is amazing. Showing up everybody else, you go, girl. But at the end of the day, what does all of that mean if you don't learn how to celebrate yourself, right? And I'm not speaking from, like, an unhealthy place. I'm speaking from a place where you're able to recognize the progress you've made in your life. You're able to recognize that you're not the same person you were a year ago from now a, a month ago like you're growing each and every day you're showing up courageously and vulnerably every day and that's a big deal I think sometimes we get so focused on our idea of what we think our life should look like or where we should be at a certain time you know like I'm gonna be honest with y'all I thought my life was gonna look a lot different at 37 if you would have asked me at 27 what my life would have looked like at 37 I would have told you oh I would have been married by now I would have had kids by now I would have had this amount of money in the bank y'all none, none of those things have been checked off but the so that's one part of it but the beautiful part of it is a lot of the stuff I didn't even know to ask God for a lot of the stuff I didn't even know to pray for God has given it to me and so now I'm in a place where I'm grateful for the things that God is going to send me and do in my life. But if he don't do another thing for me, for this, I don't know about you, but for me, when I tell you I am so blessed, like so blessed, and it's taken me a long time to get to this place of like me being blessed is not just um, an outward expression of what I have. First, it starts with who I have in my relationship with God. And I don't know about y'all, but my relationship with God has been tested. Three years ago, I didn't even want to be in a relationship with God anymore because the things I had gone through when he moving me to Atlanta. But now to be in a place where we rocking with each other, like real strong, like our relationship has been tested and it's stronger than it's ever been. My relationship with God is so much more authentic than it's ever been. It's not based off performance. It's not based off of me getting it right. It's not based off of what I do for him. Like I'm finally understanding that I'm a daughter. You, you see what I'm saying? I didn't know to pray for that. I just knew I was going through a lot of stuff in my life, right? And I was tripping on the same stuff. I didn't know to pray for the type of relationships I have in my life. Like people who genuinely love me. I didn't know to pray for that, but I have that. I didn't know to pray for the peace that I have, the joy that I have, the confidence, Lord, we still working on, that I am growing in, you know, like I didn't know to pray for those things. And I think now because I was able to take, uh-oh, y'all get this, the long route, the scenic route, right, that, that now I believe that I'm able to really walk into some of those manifestations you know that that I believe God is sending and so I think that's just so important you all and I pray that that encourages you on your journey I know for a lot of us it may not look the way we thought it was gonna look right I don't know how old you are but I'm pretty sure you had some different ideas from what it looks like right now but I hope you know like man you're right where you're supposed to be and if you can really let God like really shift your perspective to see all of what you have but most important who you're becoming in him. So get this, you can handle and manage all that he's sent in your life. I believe that same gratitude that's been filling my life since I turned 37 is gonna be the same gratitude that fills your life. Do you believe that? Like it's amazing how just a shift of perspective can change so much in our life. I just told you everything on my list that I thought by this time in my life that I was going to be in. None of those things have happened yet, you all, but I still have joy. And I, and I get there's some stuff that you're believing for. I, I get that there's some things you're waiting on. I get that there's some things that you're hoping for, and God doesn't want us to lose our hope. He doesn't want you not to operate in a spirit of faith. He doesn't want you not to operate in a spirit of expectation. But when you get to the place where you're like, God, nonetheless, I'm grateful for how I've gone through what I've gone through and I'm still standing. Okay, y'all, I ain't trying to preach on this welcome back, but I want to celebrate you right now as I'm learning to celebrate myself that you're still standing.
after everything you've gone through, after everything you've survived, and I'm not just talking about the things that people have seen you go through, because it's one thing for what people have seen. It's another thing for the stuff you ain't told nobody about, okay? That, that thing that keep you up 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning that you're struggling with within yourself, right? Like those things, but you're still standing. So I want to encourage you, y'all, take some time. I was going to talk about some other stuff on this podcast, but I feel like on this episode, I feel like I need to lean into this, right? I want you to take some intentional time to celebrate yourself because that's what God is doing. He's not looking at you and looking at, oh, oh, here they go messing up again. He's looking at you saying, look at my daughter. Look at my son. Look at her keep getting back up. Look at them keep, keep trying. Look at them doing new things, right? And so I want to encourage you to celebrate yourself. I want to let you know that you don't need a whole lot of money to celebrate yourself. Like, I thought I was going on a trip, y'all, <laughs> but I took a trip to the crib. You, you know, you, you feel me? So you don't need a whole lot of money. You don't have to go into an island. You don't have to do anything of that. I believe that learning how to honor ourselves and celebrate ourselves, it's a lifestyle. It's us choosing when we wake up in the morning, how do we make sure we're good before we're good for everybody else? That may mean taking a few moments in the morning just to collect your thoughts just to have quiet time, just to stretch and move your body, to eat a good breakfast. I'm talking to myself. It may mean doing what I'm starting to do, eating lunch, <laughs> not working through lunch, honoring when your body says, okay, we need to take a break. Yeah, I'm telling y'all my business because this is all stuff I'm working on. But it means, you know, just doing, doing different things to be intentional about celebrating your progress. I get it, y'all. I get it. I get it that there are things that we're going to accomplish. And if anybody got goals, I'm with you, right? But I don't want you to get so focused on how far you have to go that you don't realize how far you've already come. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? I don't want you to be so consumed with your future that you don't honor everything that has helped shape and mold you from your past for you to be where you are right now. That's what my birthday has done for me. And I've it's been difficult, right? But it's been a way that I've like trying to ride, y'all. Just like trying to stay in that place of gratitude, trying to stay in that place of like, man, God, I am so blessed. I am rich in things that money cannot buy. You are rich in things that money cannot buy. You are wealthy in things that this world cannot take away from you because this world did not give you. So, yes, I understand that everything right now in life may not look the way you want it to look. Everything, maybe some things right now looking a little ghetto because y'all know it always be some ghetto going on. But that does not change the fact of, man, you got a whole lot to be grateful for. And so, y'all, that's how I celebrated my birthday. And I was able to not only honor that within myself, but to open up space for other people to celebrate me and to see me. Y'all, that's new for me. <laughs> like, what? I am a behind the scenes type of girl. I am a make sure everybody else has what they need, making sure everybody else feels love. To be on the other side of that, uncomfortable initially, but when I took, took step back and took it in, my heart needed that. And I believe for many of us, God knows what we need. And oftentimes it's found in what makes us uncomfortable. When you fit with your whole life hiding, or being overlooked, being seen can feel so uncomfortable. But God wants to see you. And he doesn't just want to see you in your relationship with him. He wants to see you through your relationship with other people. So one thing to celebrate yourself, and I leaned into that because I really want you to take that as your homework. Y'all know we do homework over here at the Becoming Brittany Podcast. But the second part of that, I really want you to Lean into letting other people celebrate you. Like, stop when somebody asks you if you need help. No, nah, I'm good. No, you're not. <laughs> like, let them help you. Or when somebody wants to do something nice for you, like, y'all, we really got to get, and I'm, I'm talking from a place of this is something I'm walking out to. Like, I literally was just trying to do something myself, and my assistant just called me out. Why? Because we do that to each other. Because, you know, we're holding each other accountable. But I believe that God has so many amazing things in your life and people. But we have to be open to letting people celebrate us as well. Because guess what? You're worthy of that. 
And it's not your worthiness doesn't come from you getting everything right. Your worthiness comes from who you are in God, right? Because that's where your identity comes from. So, y'all, I hope that this has encouraged you. I don't know, y'all. I'm just really feeling y'all's hearts right now. I'm just really feeling like this is connecting with somebody. Like, I don't know what your journey has been. I try to share my journey with you all as transparently as I can in hopes to just be encouragement because I never want you to feel like you're feeling certain things and you're the only one that's feeling certain things or you're struggling with certain things and you're the only one that's struggling with certain things. Child, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. So I don't know when y'all birthdays are coming up, period. But I want you to get this revelation that I got from my birthday and I want you to carry it with you. And I just wonder what the rest of this, this year could look like. If we really tapped into this, if we really tapped into the heart of God for us and we really let ourselves like fully walk into that and fully experience that, I believe some of us are experiencing like blocks, even in your relationship with God, because you're still trying to do. And God is like, I'm bringing you into a season to receive. Like, I don't want you just to do. I don't want you just to show up. I also want you to posture yourself to receive. Receive looks like listening, which some of us struggle with being quiet, huh? Receive looks like putting ourselves in vulnerable places. Receive looks like throwing your own birthday party and being okay with who come and don't come, right? Because we're not allowing our fear of rejection to get in the way of what God wants to do in our life. Like, well, that's receiving. So I'm declaring this over us, and then we're going to go on and end this podcast episode. This is your season to receive, period. This is your season to walk into the fullness of the love that God has for you. I've just been in this place, y'all, about receiving love. And when I'm talking about receiving love, I'm not just talking about romantic love. That's a part of the love. But there's a whole lot of love around you right now. There's some friends that love you. There's some people at your church, in your community, on your job that love you. But we got to be open to receive that love. So, y'all, this is my welcome back. I hope that my 37th <laughs> journey is inspiring and motivating to you. I love you. Y'all know I tell y'all often on this podcast, if nobody else has told you today or if you ain't heard it all week, if you ain't heard it all month or all year, I love you. I celebrate you. I see you. Thank you for not giving up. Girl, bro, like, thank you for still standing. Thank you because you are inspiration to other people that you don't even know that you're inspiring. And so I'm celebrating you today. I celebrate your gifts. I celebrate your passions. I celebrate the uniqueness that makes you you that other people may think is weird. Mm -mm, that's how God created you. But most importantly, I celebrate who you are. There is nobody else on this planet that is like you, and that's what makes you special. And I celebrate that. And so until we have another episode, y'all, I hope this, this has encouraged you. I hope that you are inspired. I hope that you feel seen. I hope that you feel just a little bit more love and a little bit more celebration, all right? I love y'all, and I cannot wait until our next episode. So I hope you've enjoyed this episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. And with that being said, see you next time.